Like this is just chill. Ain't no rush. You just drive, bro.
right, so tires are lasting quite a bit actually. I'm just heat cycling them the right way this time. Hopefully they can last all day. Uh, the sidewall bite just isn't. I just wish these were on the back, man. These things would be so fast. Uh, next month, next month they come. But yeah, the car is stout. Shout out to Stack Inc. Boy! Yeah, man, I finally reached a point in car confidence. Like, that's my first time running reverse on Nico, man. First time. And I feel pretty confident. Like, the car just feels good. I just wish I had grippier tires on the rear because then I can go even faster. And when I change the transmission, I can, I, you see I'm doing like handbrake entries because I'm trying to save this transmission and drive chain as best as I can because that's still a stock six speed. So I'm not trying to beat the shit out of it. Like this thing has seen so much abuse in over how many years I've been driving it. So I'm just trying to take care of it best as I can, especially because I don't have a car carrier today. But yeah, man, I'm gonna let the car cool off a little bit, hydrate and uh, lower the tire pressure and uh, get back out there. These I'm gonna roast. These are the drive back tires. So, cheap. So, I think there was like a misconception online too when I was talking about Kendas. Kendas are actually pretty fucking good tires. They last long, they provide a decent grip, like for underpowered cars, awesome grip level. But for like cars with power, they're just like, they're just like cheap, fun tires. And you can see how many laps I've already gotten through these and like the wear is pretty good. Uh, obviously my alignment was kind of cambered in so it ate them up a little bit. But uh, now I have it a little positive. So when a car squats, it's like neutral. And as you can see the wear, yeah man, the wear is pretty good. So, uh, dude, I I'm doing it. Like this is cool, man. You just show up at Nico circuit. And just fucking drive, dude. They finally got these benches here. I don't know, man. I'm just excited. I'm done talking. Let's get back to work.
our first issue of uh, having power, or one of the first issues, the knuckle completely just broke. Just broke off. Oh, is this aluminum? It's aluminum. But uh, yeah, this part completely broke off. Luckily, by the grace of God, Thank you, Robbie Nishida, for making the phone call and helping me out. Uh, he found someone local that has a spare knuckle already on it. So now I just got this taken apart, playing the waiting game. It like pushed the wheel completely forward, destroyed all of that, destroyed the freaking tire. I'm still gonna send it on this tire till it freaking blows up. Cause uh, man, this thing had a lot of life on it still has a lot of life on it just not on the outside so since this is on the left side and it's more right side scrubbing it should be fine I'm just waiting on the new shit to arrive oh day in the life but it's like beautiful weather out here it's a lot of people here The car is pretty reliable. It's just like stupid stuff that's going on with it. And this is exactly why you always have a, uh, a car carrier. I didn't show up on a car carrier today. This is a nice pit area. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna start doing a lot more of these events. events so I can push and push and grow with the car the car itself it feels pretty solid I'm just lacking grip in the rear what I, what the guy told me to do uh, ended up working and I got more grip out of the front and the rear um, but yeah man I don't know I'm just excited to drive finally pushing the car again I think after I fix this, I'm gonna go get something to eat. I am starving. But yeah, these tires, man, game changer. Compared to the, uh, way more confidence with the 08Rs for sure. I wonder how the 08RSs feel. And then I'm also gonna try out those tires that they have. It's like OSP. I think those are for the rain. I'm gonna try those out too, but uh, these tires are months old, man, and they're lasting. They're lasting. Overall, I thought the, I thought the, I saw so much smoke when the wheel was rubbing. I thought the car caught on fire. I was like, no, out of all the things. But now we just chilling, man. We just chilling. I'm starving though. So lucky. I don't know. I'll catch you guys later after I get this thing put on though. I'm gonna relax for a bit. It's hot. It's cool, but it's hot. I'm hot. You know what I mean, later. <laughs> Alright, cool. So we got a new one. <laughs> Thanks to Robbie hey. over here. Oh hey! I'll say Good thank job. you. Good job. He's the man. He's a legend. <laughs> <laughs> he helped me out today. So much appreciation. Let's uh, get this back on the car and let's get back to shredding. Robbie was saying that due to this, like it's a left-hand turn, so the back left wheel takes the most stress. I would think it would be the right one, but uh, I guess it's the left one. And usually on the left one, a lot of guys break them here. So when I get home, I gotta get this thing fixed, press out these, into here, reinforce this plate, or reinforce this with plates so that doesn't happen again. And then 
keep pressing it all. <laughs> all right, so after like four years of talking about it, me and Rohab and his wife, she's here too. We're gonna go drifting. We finally get to drive together. We're gonna drive together at Abisu, but he had a car issue and I had to leave for D1 the next day. But uh, yeah man, pam, 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 doofing it up. He's gonna dust me on the corner because uh, these tires, I don't know man, just not cutting it. I need our compound for sure. But yeah, well, let's uh, get to drifting. Definitely come and 
just have like a test day with like a homie or somebody and actually get to push the car versus like D1 you have like 30 minutes you have like two laps to qualify but I finally figured out this turn over here if I have more grip in the, in the rear tires so when I swap the Kendas to the 08Rs I should be able to rip through this turn here because um, that was my slow point as you saw as me and Rohat drove together I started getting closer and closer and closer so I know that I improved here as well as most of, most of the other track but I like driving with him because he drives on limiter so when I hear limiter then I go on limiter and it's just like limiter action and they both sound really good together so it's a pretty good setup man his car is fucking clean I really like it the cage is nice battery location is nice that's what I need right here I want to gut mine but I'm still in love with my carpet but I think it's about that time it's a race car I think you save like 150 something pounds when you take the seat out and the interior that's like a human but yeah he was running uh, triangles and I was running Kendas so we had like a somewhat even match grip 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 wise and he has a 08 R's on the front yep zero eight R's on the front and I have zero eight R's on the front as well so it's like a nice power match I think he makes like a hundred Smoke a backwoods, Marathon OG. Uh, what? Hustle. Yeah, I feel brand new like I just started this shit. Uh, like it's the beginning. Let's all get right. It's that shit you waited for your whole fucking life. 